Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and today I want to elaborate on a previous episode of Dirty Talk where I spoke about the medics, their balance and their role within Dirty Bomb. Just so we can all remain on the same page, I will leave a link in the description below to the original video as well as sticking up an annotation on the screen now. My goal with the original video was to explain a small kind of paradox between the role, effectiveness and the skill requirements of the medics, but unfortunately it seems that the majority of the people that watched that video kind of missed the point I was trying to make. Now I will hold my hands up that is most likely my own fault for not explaining myself all that well, however that kind of left things feeling a little bit incomplete in my mind so I thought it would be best to make this video and hopefully do a much better job this time round. Now, to be clear before we move on, unless I state otherwise, I am only really talking about matches that involve a wide range of player skill levels. Basically, public matchmaking via the quick match, organised pickup games, or the server browser, which can all have top level players, as well as the newbiest of all noobs, playing on the same team at the same time. So stuff like the private competitive matches and even the skill based matchmaking for the most part is not really subject to the issue that I want to shed light on today. So with all that out of the way let's get straight to it. I still believe that the current selection of medics in Dirty Bomb have too high of a skill requirement that needs to be met in order for them to be truly effective. Meaning that in most cases I believe it is much better for a team overall if the lower skill players on the team do not play medic. However, this is not the same as saying that the best players on the team should play Medic, and now this is where the conflict lies. If a Medic effectively has the ability to keep players alive, then surely you want them to be keeping the best players on your team alive. The problem is, if you put a low skilled player on Medic and they are unable to keep up with the best players, then they are effectively, well, useless. And there is a very good chance that them playing, well, almost anything else would result in them being much more effective on a team. On the other hand, if you stick your better players on Medic, and they are able to keep people alive, there is still a very good chance that the lower skilled players that are being kept alive are still not going to be as much of an impact on the overall game as that decent player would be if he was not playing a Medic. Now, please understand that this is not really a massive issue. I mean, if the pretty good players on a team manage to keep the best players on the team alive, then there really is hardly any issue at all. The whole reason why I'm making this video is because I honestly do believe that it is possible to almost eradicate any issues altogether without massively changing how the game plays out. But to achieve this, we really need to make sure that we understand why these issues exist in the first place and what could be possibly done to address them. This is where I feel like I started to confuse many of the people that watched the original video because I started talking about the combat effectiveness and the stronger medic abilities and people seemed to believe that I was basically asking for a medic buff and that was simply not the case. I mean, let's quickly look at where the difficulty in being a decent medic actually lies. First off, you've got the simple fact that the medics are some of the least effective mercs in combat. Secondly, knowing how, when, where to use your medic abilities requires a fair amount of understanding and awareness. And finally, even landing your abilities requires a certain amount of skill. Now, if you make them stronger in combat or their abilities more effective, all you really do is buff these mercs for the higher skill players that really had no issue in pulling them off anyway. And that is certainly not what I want to see happen. Sure, it does solve some of the issues that I did speak about earlier as it would allow a decent player to both medic and have more impact on the game overall, but that certainly causes so many more issues than it actually solves. What I want to see is a couple of medics that are actually weaker and less effective than the medics that we've currently got, but have them much, much easier to use. For instance, a medic that puts out less healing than a Sawbones and is less effective in combat, but if you have it so his heal is so incredibly easy to use that basically anyone can pull it off, you end up with a medic which is almost perfect for lower skill players. And if things are done right, the top players will likely still stick to the other medics, Sawbones in this case, because he is literally the stronger merc. However, lower skill players would do so much better with this new merc because when they're playing Soulbones, they don't reach that skill requirement where on the new Merc they would. One mistake I made in the previous video was focus so much on changes to the current Mercs, where really I believe I should have really focused on what we should do with new Mercs completely. Honestly, I would love to see something along the lines of the Team Fortress 2 Medic Gun, just have the player point in a general direction and hold down the left mouse button. 
Give him like decent health, but make him slow. I'm thinking around like the 130 HP mark, but the speed of Fragger. I mean, you could even give him a really crappy primary weapon like you've done with Sparks even. Now, this should, in theory, give you a medic, which is obviously nowhere near as good as the Soul Bombs because you just haven't got that DPS, you haven't got that movement speed and all that kind of jazz. But I reckon it would work out almost perfectly for a lower skill player because it would be so much easier to use. Now, before I sign off for today, guys, I do want to tackle one question that I am fairly sure is going to pop up today. And that is, if you make a merc that is weaker than Soul Bones, why would anyone ever play it? The answer in my mind is simple. If my effectiveness at my skill level is let's say 4 out of 10 with a Soul Bones, but is around 6 out of 10 with this new medic because this medic is so much easier to use, then this new medic is the one that I should likely be using. However, that new medic may actually cap out at an effectiveness of around 8 out of 10 while the Soul Bone fills up the whole scale all the way up to 10 out of 10. This is the stuff of meta really and it's far too complicated to go into it in a really short video like this, but hopefully I'm, you'll all get the idea, right? The final small disclaimer that I would really like to try and make is that this whole idea, concept and discussion really relies on people understanding and believing that it is okay that some mercs are better than others. As long as all the mercs have their place in the game and are better at certain points of the skill curve, then that is all we should be aiming for in my opinion. Having every single merc as effective as every single other merc is really, in my opinion, an un unachievable feat and I really do feel like splash damage are working far too hard to try and achieve it. Truth is, even if it is not as impossible as I believe it is, I would certainly say that it is undesirable because all it really does is enforce this really crazy high skill barrier to entry and you just continue to scur new players away. So with all that said, I hopefully have managed to get my points across much better than I did the first time around. As always, I would love to hear what you guys have got to say on the topic, so please do leave any comments in the comment section below this video. As always, if you've liked this video, then please do remember to like this video so more people get to see it. And finally, finally, you can always remember to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness. I have been Pixel, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.